Hello friends, I am Devashish Dhawan. Today I will discuss on pipe versus tube. And at first, so I will discuss on the concept of pipe and tube and the relation and difference of pipe and tube. Diameter. For the case of pipe, pipe size specified in nominal pipe size that is NPS or nominal board NB or diameter nominal DN. This NPS does not match with the true diameter. It is just a rough indication. On the other side, for the case of tube, tube size are specified in millimeter or inches by actual outside diameter. In other words, it is said that the actual physical outer diameter of a tube is just the same as its nominal outer diameter. Point to the wall thickness. For the case of pipe, the wall thickness is referred to as the pipe schedule. The most common schedule are schedule 20, schedule 40 and schedule 80. But in this three schedule, schedule 40 is the most common. On the other side, for the case of tube, the thickness of a tube is often specified by a gauge for a thinner thickness. And for the thicker tubing, it is indicated by the fraction of an inch or millimeter. Point number three, tolerance. There are different tolerances like diameter tolerance, straightness tolerance, roundness tolerance and wall thickness tolerance. Considering these tolerances, pipes are usually used for transporting and distributing. And the tolerance for pipes is more loose than the tubes comparatively. Now I am coming the point number four manufacturing. As I have told that the tolerance of pipe is loose than tube. So the material producing to the pipe or the tube manufacturing process will be different. And the pipe manufacturing is easier compared to tube and it is in mass production means the pipe manufacturing process is easier than the tube thus tube will require much more process for test inspection than the pipes and for this reason the delivery time will be longer too now coming to point number five cost to manufacture tubes will take much more labor, energy, material, etc. So the production cost is surely higher than the pipes. And for the high level requirement of tubes, it increases the cost and price. But on the other hand, I have already told that pipe manufacturing is easier than the tubes. So, the pipes are manufactured in large lot and lower the cost as compared to the tubes. Now coming to point number six, shape. In the market, you see that pipes are normally rounded, but on the other side, tubes are different shaped like round, rectangular, square, oval, etc. Now coming to Point number seven, use or application. I have already said pipes are used for transporting and distributing of fluids like water, oil, gas, etc. And you see in the thermal power plant or boiler system, steam pipe, boiler pipe, etc. And in the case of pipe, outside and inside diameter is the key measurement as the flow and pressure rating is important for the case of pipes. On the other hand, in the case of tubes are often put to use in applications that require precise outside diameters like with medical tubes, weapons part, industrial parts, cooler tubes, heat exchanger tubes and boiler tubes. 
outside diameter is important because it indicates how much it can hold as a stability factor means stability factor is more often important in the case of tubes for the case of pipes it accommodate larger application with sizes that ranges from a half inch to the several feet but on the case of tubes these are generally used in applications that require smaller diameter now coming to point number 8 material pipe is usually made of carbon steel or low alloy steel but a wide range of material is available but in the case of tube it is often made of mild steel aluminum brass copper chrome stainless steel etc point number 9 mechanical and chemical properties as i have already said that for the case of pipes pressure and flow is critical so the properties like pressure dating yield strength ductility are more important and for this element like molybdenum sulfur phosphorus silicon are the main chemical component elements for pipes and there is few micro elements requirement but for the case of tube the hardness tensile strength the high precision is the key to high quality and so the micro elements are very important to the quality and process than the pipes point number 10 connection or joint welding connecting pipes is more labor intensive as it requires welding threading or flanges and relevant requirement but tubes can be joined quickly and easily with flaring bridging or couplings point number 11 ductility pipes are available in rigid joints which come in various lengths depending on the material but for the case of tube in particular copper comes in rigid hard tempered joints or soft tempered rolls some tubing also comes in rigid joints or flexible rolls point number 12 packing as we just need to protect the pipe surface from serious damage so pipes are in bundle or just bulk delivery while tubes are usually wrapped with wooden box or thin film for each tube especially for medical area tubes point number 13 delivery time as the pipe manufacturing process is less critical than tube so for the pipe the delivery time can be short but generally longer time will be required for tubes point number 14 surface finish the pipes are used normally outdoor field transporting or underground transporting and these pipes needs to be painted or coating to anti corrosion or oxidation but for the case of tubes special polish treatment is required point number 15 quantity the distributing and transporting system is large so the piping is often used in mass quantity and the order of pipes are usually large but the tube are mainly used in a special purposes so the tube may be used in small quantity point number 16 pipe end and tube end the pipe ends are usually in plane or beveled so as to welding but tubes are with coupling special screw threaded etc and these threaded and grooved ends are available for quicker connection on site so i think you will understand well if you have any question please comments and if you like my channel please subscribe 
and press the bell icon to get updated videos on my channel and please like and share thank you